Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh K YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create this type of base plate connection in Tecla structures 2024 version with this PDF example. I will provide this PDF example link in the description. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with the Indian environment. Now let's open our example. In our example, we have ISMB 400 column. So go to steel and select this column and click on here to create the column right column must interrupt now we have column like this now we're going to create view so select this grid right icon mouse create views along grid lines now click on create and then ok and ok now click on window and select this view list and let's take top planet zero level and you can see now have column like this now go to 3d view here Use the shortcut Control 4 for render view for this column and use the shortcut Control R and pick the rotation point here and use the Control and mouse middle button to rotate like this. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we're going to edit this column. So double click on this column to edit this column. Now we're going to change this profile. By default, we have ISMB 400. So by default, also we have ISMB 400. So no need to change. If you want to change, then click on here Profile Catalog and you can select from here for example let's take ismb 300 then click on apply ok and click on modify to see the result here you can see now this column profile should be ismb 300 according to this information but in our example we have ismb 400 so let's take ismb 400 so you can select from here ismb 400 apply ok now click on modify it now coming to this column height in our example we have column height 5000 and bottom level should be 0. So, top level by default we have 5000. So, bottom level we are going to make it 0. Now, click on modify to see the result. You can see now bottom level should be 0 and top level should be 5000. You can see like this. Now, coming to the rotation, for example, let's take planet 0 and currently we have rotation like this. In our example, we have horizontal rotation of this column. So, we are going to rotate 90 degrees. So, under rotation option, let's take here 90 degrees, then click on modify to see the result like this. Now, close it. Now, go to 3D view like this. Click on space, right click on mouse, read out. Now, we have column like this. Now, we are going to create base plate at the bottom of this column according to our example like this. So, to create base plate, for this column go to the application components by using the shortcut control f or you can directly click on here and in search bar type base plate base plate and you can see you will get this stiffened base plate 1014 select it and you can see in command bar it asking pick part you need to select the column and next pick the position we need to select at grid intersection point you can see like this here click on here to create the base plate right click on mouse interrupt and close this window click on space right click on mouse reader view currently this is the shaded view to get render view use the shortcut shift 4 for for components application and components like this now i'm going to change this base plate sizes and bolt sizes according to our example so double click on this base plate now click on this parts in parts you can change this base plate thickness in our example we have base plate thickness 16 millimeter so you need to enter here 16 millimeter click on modify to see the result here you can see now this base plate thickness should be 16 millimeter now coming to this base plate bolts go to the anchor tab in anchors you can change this anchor rod size profiles and nut and washer profile so go to the rod profile and select this circular halo section so click on this plus symbol and select this rod and you need to enter the rod size here in our example we have rod size 20 dia so enter here 20 dia now click on more apply ok and to display this rod in this model you need to select this option base plate with anchor now click on modify so to see the result here like this in our example, we have L band anchor, so we're going to change this profile L band, then click on modify it. 
Now coming to nut and washer profiles, to display the nut and washer profiles in the model, you need to select this option here, click on S and click on modify, modify to see the result here. By default, it is a circular section, but nut profile should be hexagonal like that. So we are going to select the nut profile here, click on this profile catalog and before star in the filter, type here nut and click on enter and go to the user defined fixed and click on here plus symbol on nut and let's take nut profile m, uh, nut m20 and click on apply ok and click on modify to see the result here like this now coming to this washer you to select here under the washer profile option click on this profile catalog and before strike and type here washer click on enter there is no washer predefined profiles in this uh, Indian environment. So, we are going to select from circular halo section. So, click on here and select this CHS and uh, diameter of this uh, washer by default we are going to take 40 millimeter and the thickness is nothing but from edge of this washer to edge of the whole whole edge distance. So, when we are going to take here 8 millimeter, click on apply OK and click on modify to see the result you will get like this if you have any doubt you can increase the diameter for example you can directly type here 550 millimeter you can see now circular half section is increased but we need to take by default values is the 40 millimeter then click on modify it now coming to thickness of this washer you now you, you can select from this option and type here for example let's take 4 millimeter washer thickness then click on modify you will get like this now now coming to this number of anchor rods according to our example we have eight anchor rods so to create eight number of anchors and the spacing between the anchors uh, you need to go to this option bolts in bolts you can change the bolt size according to this anchor we have 20 millimeter and the tolerance we are going to take 3 millimeter in our example we have tolerance 3 millimeter is nothing but uh, anchor rod is the 20 millimeter and tolerance is 3 that means the whole size should be 23 millimeter so we are going to enter here tolerance 3 millimeter and click on modify to see the result here and now coming to this number of anchors and edge distance uh, we need to defer this this profile you can see i section like this so we need to make this column like this for example let's take uh, plan now coming to this edge distance the, you can see uh, according to this profile orientation i section like this uh, and according to this one is the this is the base plate length according to this one and this is the flange uh, along the flange edge is the width of this base plate that's that nothing but these options for width of this base plate and these options for length of this base plate for example, in our example, you can see we have edge distance is 50 millimeter on edge of this base plate on left side uh, from bolt to edge of this plate is 50 millimeter. So we need to enter here is the 50 millimeter because this is the length of this base plate and uh, click on modify to see the result. Now coming to the number of bolts in our example, you can see we have number of bolts in horizontal direction. You can see one. 2, 3, 4. You are looking from this direction, then you will get 1 and 2, 3, 4. 4 rows. So you need to enter here number of bolts 4. And the spacing between the bolts is nothing but from bolt to bolt spacing. Initially, we have first spacing is the 125, next to 250, next to 125. So you need to enter in the same serial numbers 125, give the space 250, and give space and 125. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see you will get like this. Now coming to base plate width side, in our example we have in the width side edge distance from bolt to edge of this base plate is the 50 millimeter on both side. So we need to enter here 50 millimeter on both side and click on modify it. Now coming to number of bolts, uh, you can see we have in this direction in the width side we have one and two rows. So we need to enter here two and the spacing between the bolts we have only 100 millimeter so we need to enter here 100 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see you will get like this okay 
now go to the 3d view you can see you will get like this now coming to the base plate thickness we have already entered in this plate thickness here now coming to this stiffener now coming to this uh, plate thickness we can enter from here a plate for this stiffener for example you can see enter here in our example we have stiffener thickness we have 8 millimeter default so we are going to take here 8 millimeter now click on modify it you can see now this plate thickness should be 8 millimeter if you have any doubt just uh, reduce the value of thickness for example let's take 2 millimeter modify it you can see now 2 millimeter that means this option for this stiffener so we need to enter here 8 millimeter and click on modify it similarly we can change this stiffener but in our example we have position of this stiffener at the middle of this web so we're going to change this uh, stiffener position so click on here and select this middle and click on modify it to get the, at the middle of this web so now coming to the stiffener thickness we can enter this uh, stiffener thickness at this option for example let's take here two millimeter click on modify you can see now plate thickness should be two millimeter but in our according to our example we have where plate thickness typical is the eight millimeter so we need to enter here eight millimeter so let's take eight millimeter and click on modify it now coming to this width and length of this stiffener in our example we have height is the 200 millimeter default for this uh, flange stiffener and web stiffener so we're going to enter here 200 millimeter in the stiffeners option now coming here 200 and height here also 200 now coming to the uh, chamfer value 50 50 millimeter and uh, by default we are going to take the chamfer value at this location is the 10 millimeters so let's take here 50 millimeter top chamfer this chamfer value uh, for both stiffeners and this stiffener value the chamfer value we are going to take here 10 millimeter for welding purpose here so let's take here 10 millimeter and click on modify it you can see you will get like this now coming to this width of this web stiffener you can see this is the web stiffener width uh, plate width we have here is the 200 half of the plate width is the 100 and uh, we're going to take the now we're going to take the this stiffener width should be uh, below the 100 millimeter so we're going to take here 95 millimeter now click on modify it like this now coming to here by default this stiffener at the edge of this plate uh this the base plate length overall length we have 600 millimeter and uh, ismb 400 that means the edge of this flange edge uh, on the top to bottom should be 400 so remaining this portion should be 100 millimeters so we're going to take below 100 millimeters so for welding purpose similarly here also we're going to take 95 millimeter uh, for this option to make like this for welding purpose okay like this okay that's it now click on modify apply ok click on space right gamma straight away you can see now have base plate like this just like in our example like this now going to verify these dimensions so go to view window now i'm going to take elevation along grid one so Go to view list and go to the elevation along grid one so click on here and open i want to check the dimensions according to our example top of this column to bottom of this base plate we have 5000 millimeters so we're going to check the dimension so click on here edit and click on measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at the bottom of this base plate and click on here to place the dimension 5000 millimeter now coming to here is the thickness of this base plate is a 16 millimeter so we're going to check the dimension here click the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension 16 millimeter now coming to this height of this stiffener 200 millimeter so from bottom stiffener to top stiffener should be 200 millimeter now coming to this chamfer value from here to here is the 250 millimeter and now from here to here also 50 meter horizontally so measure and click on here and set the horizontal distance and click the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension 50 millimeter similarly you can also check this chamfer value this should be 10 millimeter by default value so we're going to take here also 
this should be 10 millimeter like this. Now coming to this base plate dimensions, so go to the top view, planet 0, now I'm going to measure these dimensions also, click on space, right click on mouse data view and now we're going to take the dimensions so click on measure and select this horizontal distance from edge to edge or length of this base plate 600 millimeter and the spacing we're going to check here from here to middle bolt to bolt uh, from bolt to this bolt and from here to here and from bolt to edge you can see 50 125 250 125 50 50, 125, 250, 125, 50. Similarly, we are going to check the dimensions in base plate width direction. So, click on here and select this vertical distance and click the first point and second point and click on here. Overall, width of this base plate should be 200 millimeter according to here. And now coming to edge distance from here to here is the 50. From bolt to bolt, we have 100 millimeter. From bolt to edge of this plate, 50. 50, 150, 50, 150. Okay, that's it. Now coming to this thickness of this uh, stiffener, so we're going to measure here. So click on measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point and click on here, eight millimeter. Similarly, we're going to uh, measure this uh, thickness. So take vertical distance and pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension. You can see eight millimeter and here also eight millimeter. These are the checking dimensions uh, just for checking purpose uh, uh, with refers with this example in this model once the checking is completed you can just click on space really come on studio view to remove this checking dimensions these are the temporary dimensions and click on here window and select this 3d view you can see you will get like this okay that's it about how to create this type of base plate in tecla structures with this pdf example i will provide this video example link in the description please download and practice along with this video if you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structures related videos, please go to my channel, Gani SK YouTube channel. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you.